Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reacting to Heartstopper Season 2, the trailer, which has just dropped. I've been waiting for this forever. Like, I binge watched Season 1 so many times. I think I watched it six times in the first two weeks it was out. And I'm so excited to watch Season 2 and to see how they translate the comic to the TV for another sh another series. I actually met Kit Connor and Toby Donovan this year at an event. And I told them personally, like, how much I love the show. And I said to them, like, to be so young, to be part of such an amazing inspiring show that has so much positive representation of so many different people is just a beautiful thing and i was like you should be so proud of yourselves and for being part of it they're probably like who is this guy like shut up but i was like i have to tell them i have to tell them how much this show means to me and so many other people so i'm gonna hit play and um let me know what you think in the comments when you watch it too uh I'm already. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited to have them back. Hi. 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 How much of the first season was just them saying hi? I, I want the numbers on that. I have a boyfriend. Yes, we're all fully aware. <laughs> I love Tao. I hope Tao has like a more positive. Um, characterization this this season because like some people really didn't like his character last time and i love him i love him he reminds me a lot of me when i was at school mario kart ah oh. i want to tell people it's hard to find the right time oh it's nick's nick's story continuing but him telling people if you've read the comic so you know about his brother i'm dreading that bit i'm dreading that bit your friend group is so nice how did you get to know everyone I love that they're like Imogen seems to be part of this friendship group now because there was a moment at the end of season one when Nick walks over to Charlie and takes his hand when they're doing sports day and there's just a glimpse of Imogen looking like, oh, I see. And it's so cute and I'm so glad that she's in this this new group. When and how you want to. Oh, I can't stand it. They're crying. It can't be, it can't be tears. Person to have a crush on. What if you don't actually fed him? My mum's been moaning at me to get a haircut. He has coupons. Don't do it. Oh, they're writing the haircut into the story because I've seen pictures of him, obviously, we all have, where his hair is so different to season one. And I'm like, <laughs> and they've actually written it into the story. I kind of love it, but also his hair was such such an iconic part of season one. It doesn't work out when I lose my best friend in the whole world. No! Why is Elle walking away? Oh, I love that relationship as well. Like they, oh, everyone just needs to be happy. This is the only programme I've ever watched where I want everyone to be happy. Apart from Ben. Does Charlie know you don't want to come out? I do want to come out. Is everyone ready for... I don't want Ben to be in this. <laughs> I love I love Sebastian, Bash, whatever. I love his acting in it. I think it's brilliant. I know the character's not going to get a redemption arc. We've we've know that from Alice, so I don't want him in there at all. <laughs> I just want happy characters. No. Also, I'm so excited for the Paris bits because I love Paris, and in the comic, the Paris stuff is so funny. There's like a lot of character building that happens just while they're like um, staying over and stuff, and also the relationship between the teachers. Ah, oh, I'm so excited. Ah. Oh. Oh no. I can make sure there cannot be any Tara Darcy drama. Oh. oh my god. Do you think anyone will notice? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> not the hickey, not the love bite. <laughs> oh, I love I love it. It's such a part of being a teenager when you're like trying to be secret and trying to be like, oh, I don't want anyone to know. And then it's like, Bam! On your neck. <laughs> Sometimes I think he might like me back. You're a good person who deserves love. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You don't have to understand your feelings completely. You don't have to always have figured everything out. You can just feel. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, 
absolutely, I just love that character so much. Excited. I'm so excited. You don't understand, like, season one of Heartstopper healed something within me um, that I needed to be healed. I just love that show so much. And also it's like a huge comfort show. Like I watched, I binge watched that show so many times because I was like, this is such a nice feeling. When you watch TV and you just get completely like taken away from the world, but it's nice and comfortable and you're not stressed about what's going to happen next. It's just like nice. And also it's such a good adaptation from the comics. Like they did such a good job, Alice and Patrick and whoever else, all of them did such a great job of translating it from a comic strip to a TV show. Um, and the actors are all perfect. I'm so excited. And also the soundtrack, like the soundtrack of season one was brilliant with Baby Queen and Orla Gartland and just so many other people. But those are the two that I really like started listening to afterwards. Um, and I've seen the rumours of who's in this, who's in this soundtrack. And I hope it's true. But yeah, I'm so excited. It's going to be so good. And I'm going to have to reread the comics now. Ah, it's exciting.